Well, let's calculate gravitational potential energy. We need to know the mass, the height, as well as the gravitational field on Earth, which is around 10 kilograms per newton. So the equation is gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravitational field strength times by the height. So if we have a look at an example, so an apple with a mass of 200 grams falls 3 meters from its branch to the ground. What is the GPA? So GPE loss is mass times gravitational field strength times change in height. So that would be 0 0.2 times by 10 times by 3, which would be 6 joules. So we're just going to go and have a look at a range of different examples. So, Mr. Chalk has a mass of 84 kilograms and climbs 7 metres up a tree. What is his uh, GPA? That would be 84 times by 10 times by 7, which would make it 5,880 joules. A bee has a mass of 0 0.002 kilograms and flies 5 metres up. What is its GPA? So the bee's GPA would be 0 0.002 times by 10 times by 5, which would make it 0 0.1 joule. So, if Miss Chuck has a mass of 84 kilograms and falls down a 100 metre rabbit hole, what is his change in GPA? So, Miss Chuck's loss in GPA would be 84 times by 10 times by 100, which would make it 84,000 joules. So, if Mr. Chalk has a mass of 84 kilograms and flies 6 metres into the air to escape some of zombies, what is his GPA? So, that would be 84 times by 10 times by 6, which would be 5,040 joules. So, if Mr. Chalk has a mass of 84 kilograms and climbs 8 metres up some haunted stairs, what would be his GPA? That would be 84 times 10 times 8, which would make that 6,720 joules. So, if I uh, climb 150 metres up in the lift, what would be my GPE? That's going to be 84 times by 10 times by 150, which would make it 126,000 joules. So if I climb a thousand meters in the ski lift, what would be my GPA? That's going to be 84, which is my mass, times by 10, times by 1,000, which would be 840,000 joules. If I fall down a 20 meter hole, what would be my change in GPA? That's just going to be 84 times by 10 times by 20, which would give us 16,800 joules. And if I climb 300 meters in a balloon, what would be my GPA? That would just be 84 times by 10 times by 3,000, which would give us 2,520,000 joules. And that's it. Hopefully that outlines how to calculate gravitational potential energy, and hopefully you'll be able to go and do some questions on it.